So I thought I'd talk a little bit about why I did this video and we're gonna be in a hoodie for this. At least for the first bit. Um, we'll do a reveal, just not while I'm talking. So I'm making this little spiel on answering the biggest question that I am getting, which is why did you shave your head? And uh, long story short, I did like my hair. It low-key made me sad, so I just got rid of it. And that's just that. Here's the full, long, big thing. So by the time I'm posting it, it should be next year. Wow! Happy New Year. I hope it was great for you. I've been meaning to do this for a while now. I decided a couple months back that at the end of the year, I'll just shave my head. And you really don't need a reason other than you want to shave your head. At one point or another, I can't even really remember when, my self-confidence plummeting. I, it used to be, you know, I was never like 100% very confident, but I definitely felt like I was better. And that was when I was enjoying changing up my hair and I liked doing all these colors and it was just really fun for me. But at some point it didn't get fun and at some point it, it kind of defined me. Like I'm always hiding behind my hair. I feel like it's the most interesting thing about me and I just hated feeling that way. And so it had to go. You know the quote, if it doesn't spark joy then just toss it. Like that's what I did. And sorry I have some notes here so I don't miss anything. You don't need um, a New Year's resolution. I, I feel like I'm a super introspective person. I like to think a lot and I like to kind of think about myself to really center myself, you know? Like think about what's important to me and think about what I want to improve and just kind of cast aside things that aren't that important and this was just one of those things that just weren't as... <laughs> can't talk. Um, that just wasn't as important now. Not to say that I won't ever do it again, but my goal right now is to kind of just chill and work on other things that I really want to work on. And for this year, my focus is mainly on, it's, if I could sum it up, it's definitely uh, content creation and my health, as well as just self-love, you know, taking the time to take care of myself, which you all should be doing, but don't limit yourself to just the new year. I think it's important, this is like a lifelong thing to start doing, is to really just think about what's important to you consistently. And those things could change, and if they do change, to kind of realign yourself with those changes. I definitely want to not focus on hair. Uh, I know that this doesn't matter as much, like numbers don't matter, but in terms of content creation and being on YouTube, the videos that garner the most views are definitely my hair dye videos, especially in 2019. It was so, so popular. It was crazy. And while those are fun, and I don't do a video unless I want to do one, they just aren't what I want to be focused on and what I want to be known for and the type of stuff that I'd like to put out all the time. I'd like to shift my focus from only hair and just do more things that I like, like makeup and fashion especially, and we'll still be doing hair, we're just gonna be doing wigs and making wigs and coloring that and doing all of those fun things. Wanna put out what I wanna put out, and I don't really know what specifically that means, but I have a general idea. And then on top of that for this year, it's all about my health, you know. My physical body is just not where I want it to be, and that's fine, I'm just really excited to start working on that long term. And then on top of that, uh, self-love is something I definitely need to practice more in, in healthy ways, you know? And there's a difference between trying out yoga and taking a depression nap or chilling on the couch for like 12 hours on a day off. So I definitely am trying to find balance, trying to find my values, and just work towards them this year. So I think that's all I had to say. I think that was it for my uh, brain vomit, just saying what I want to say. Another goal of mine is to definitely talk better in front of a camera. It's still super hard. I, I always stumble and I always say um and like, and I know everyone does, but I feel like I don't talk like that normally, so it's a little frustrating, but we'll work towards that. We'll add it to the list of goals. Let me know what you guys your hopes, your dreams, stuff you want to improve on. 
And that's it for me now. Enjoy the rest of the video. Enjoy my mom shaving my head. Uh, I'll probably speed through it, but yeah, that's it. I'll catch you guys at the outro for this reveal. You'll see me with a shaved head, but in the video, I still had color when I shaved it, so I ended up dyeing it one color because I just looked like a patchy soccer ball. It was not that cute. Okay, I'm rambling. Okay, bye. Catch you in the end. See ya. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm scared. Wow, you know you're waiting. You're just going in. You know, but man, this is the best my hair's felt in years. I think I did a good job picking out the color too. I think this is my natural color. We'll see in a couple months when it grows in a little bit. There's really not much I uh, have to say for this. Um, here it is. You guys like my hoodie? I haven't been able to wear this one because I feel like it doesn't match any of my past hair looks. I love this hoodie, and if you also love this hoodie, you're a real one. Shout out to you. I'll see you down there if you leave a comment. Um, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you are just excited about this new year as I am. And if you like me, why not subscribe? If you don't like me that much, why not just leave a like on this video? Just because you're a nice person, I'm a nice person, you should leave a like on this video. I still feel really weird about asking for that stuff. But every YouTuber I watch does it, so I feel like I should do it. At the same time, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, which is the story of my life. But I'm just gonna continue to do my best, continue to improve and grow, and if you'd like to grow with me, I'd love to have you here. 
that's that's all I have to say. I hope this next year treats you well, and I hope you treat yourself well. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked my mom. She was so cute, even though she hurt my ear a little bit. Uh, also, for all of you ear comments, if you don't have an industrial, or even if you do have an industrial, tell me how you managed to never pull it ever. Ever. That's right. Impossible, dude. I'm trying my best out here, alright? I see you telling me my ear's gonna fall off. It's still on, bitch. Was that too aggressive? That was a little too aggressive. You guys make me super happy. That's really all I have to say. I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye, goodbye.